Rated M for Mature. What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from TICGN.com. Welcome to episode 29 of the Double XP Podcast. If you are watching this live, much appreciated. If you are watching this on our Tick Network channel, thanks a lot. If you're listening on iTunes, much appreciated. Also, if you're listening on Podbean, much appreciated. We got a great show for you guys uh, head up, uh, <laughs> right ahead of us, but we're going to start with the introductions. As usual, we got my light-skinned brother from somebody else's mother, Mr. Nicodemus X. Yeah, what's good, man? It's good, it's good to be back on YouTube in general, especially, uh, you know what I'm saying, on this podcast. Man, I have not gamed in like over a week, man. I've been having some some issues going on, but man, I'm just saying I'm so happy to be back. I was playing a game today, and um, let me just say this. I almost lost it. I almost lost it in my pants, you know what I'm saying? So it's been, been, been exciting. Yeah, for real, ma. I almost lost it down there. But yeah, <laughs> wow. I'm like, so off to a good start. I'm so, I'm so excited to be back yeah. in gaming, you know what I'm saying? And on this YouTube, on the podcast, I'm just excited right now. <laughs> Let it all out. Oh, wow. man. You hurt me. You hurt my I'm, gamer I'm, soul. I'm, I'm going to hold it back. I'm going to hold it back. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got my right hand, one man. Dirty Diana herself. Ooh, I'm ooh. Her. Oh, I know. Oh, okay, I might like I might like that intro. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all. It's Mama Sita, classic game of gales, where I promise to always keep it classy. And um, I'm still recovering from LA, y'all. I'm telling you, I miss LA. I, I truly love that city. And I'm like, I'm contemplating all kinds of things about even trying to, I don't know, do I need to move to LA or what? It was just Mm. Man, it was just, I don't know, the atmosphere, you know, the traffic was crazy, but I had good vibes in LA and I'm just, um, I'm just kind of trying to get over some things there, but yeah, I've been gaming and, um, and, um, it's nice to have Randa, Randa Air on here and, um, Kev the Gamer and, um, let's talk y'all. All right. Crow girl, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Sitting here was- getting my butt kicked. Uh, and persona, I'm on the last boss, I believe. I pray I am. I'm like 140 hours in, man. So mm. you getting your butt kicked right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, you can. <laughs> oh, see, you know what? You can multitask, good girl. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I couldn't fight no boss like that and I, on the man, podcast too. I couldn't do it. And I've been so frustrated. Pretty, it's kicking my butt, man. But it is what I got. 140 hours in that game. Yeah, you um, wow, you wow. Got skills. I know, right? I love, yo, that's my game of the year, man. It takes like 120, 130 hours to beat that game. Mm. I'm going to have to pick that up, then. Yeah, Persona is life. That's my game of the I year. I had never played Persona. Yeah, man. I don't um, own every PlayStation, and they never played Persona. I had neither till Persona 4 Golden on the Vita, and then that joint turned, like, that joint turned me out. Uh, But, yeah, man, um, Happy to, to uh, be here today. Uh, actually, it's my first time being in a um, Skype call with uh, Randell. Uh, really, really uh, cool people. And Kev, I already know, been knowing Kev for a minute. Me and him be on Twitter going at it. So, uh, yeah, man, we're going to have a good time today. Talk about some games. Talk about some blunders. And talk about talk about Sony. They need, they need to shut up. <laughs> but, then, yeah. And we do have two guests with us today. First up is the man with a million. Randall Thor, welcome to the show, brother. What's going on, Fame? Thanks for having me on. But didn't you hear it's it's hashtag ran man with a million lies now, dude? Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's fired. Oh, yeah. people, right. you know, pop with uh with with coming popular, you get a lot of haters, and some of the haters mm-hmm. are, you know, they, they they come up with some interesting things. So thanks for having me on, Fame. I know we've been talking about doing this for a while. So it's nice to be on here with you and Crunk Girl and Mama Sita and the true king of indies, myself. I mean, I mean, Whoa, whoa. Bang, bang. Uh, bang, bang. The every time, every time, every time we meet, every time we meet, we go through this, Ran. Every time. <laughs> I, I got the crown. I got the crown. So I'm the king, Ran. End the story. You, every you're time the king. I buy my most Jack moves because he has more access to indies than both of y'all. No, Jack, Jack <laughs> moves the king. Jack moves the king of streamers. He lost that a long time ago. <laughs> I every indie game I buy, it always says Randall Thor is the person who's played this game. Every single indie game I buy. So 
He might be right, Nick. Yeah, no, nah, I give him his props. I give Randy his props. I, I actually check out his videos for inspiration. No, no, no lie. No lie. Hey, Nick didn't play Ori until this year, dude. I mean, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, better late than never, right? Hey. That is true. That is definitely you know, true. I can, I can admit when I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I was wrong about we that. We tried one. to tell you. We tried to tell Y'all you. Y'all know I'm light skinned and ignorant, and I don't, I don't play, I don't be like listening to nobody. Y'all already know that. <laughs> and right. last, last but not least, we need to cut this podcast to be a little glorious. Get <laughs> up the game. What's happening, brother? Hey, what up? I'm just here for the glory. <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised here. you didn't say praise Gaben. I'm just here for the glory. <laughs> nah, we don't praise no, Gaben. We're here for the peasantry. The, 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 the gaming praising has stopped. It's, it's been on halt since they tried to fuck us on Christmas in 2015. <laughs> mm. Ah. So now, now we can all just go back to praising uh, the almighty Phil Spencer, right? I don't praise him either. He's trying to steal <laughs> Xbox games right now. No, I, still remember, I still remember a 4K60, no compromises. Oh. Oh. Hey, wait. Phil didn't say that, sir. Phil didn't say that, sir. Here we go. Uh, I can Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, was that not the benchmark? I'd have to look at the video again. That's what I remember I'm saying. But that video was, what, a year old? It was it was a, a, a podcast that Tick did with Albert Pinello, sir. And that, it was last year. And, and uh, one of one of our articles actually did say that though. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I don't have time to backtrack or try to fix stuff. <laughs> just just let it ride, okay? Hey, it's, all good. it's all good. Check a board right there in for the win. Wow. No. So speaking speaking <laughs> of the Xbox One X, the moment it released, people was instantly started saying, Well, I can make a PC for five hundred dollars. That's comparable to the Xbox One X, blase, blase. And I've yet to see that uh, that PC that's 500 bucks to compare to the Xbox One X. Number one, once you add in that Blu-ray drive, it's already over. You've automatically spent too much money, right? So everyone's all of a sudden wanting to build a PC. Oh, I can build a PC to compare to, to the Xbox One X. I don't, need, I don't need an Xbox. Which makes me wonder, who is PC gaming really for? Because a lot of people... You're talking about building a PC, but they have no plans on building a PC. So before I get around to the panel, I do want to talk to the one person who I know has a gaming PC or at least continue co- consistently games on their PC, um, Kev the Gamer. In your honest, humble opinion, Mr. Master Race, who is PC uh, gaming? Really me. I, did, I didn't say, I didn't say and, I'm the Master Race. <laughs> and can you, can you actually build a Xbox One X equivalent PC for five hundred dollars. For five, I don't know. I think you can do it for about six. I question the Blu-ray drive because on PC you're not going to use it. You're just not. Um, PC games don't even come on Blu-rays. They still, if you're going to buy physical, they come on DVD still. Cheaper, and most people have DVD drives. But the market's downloads. Been downloads for years. Um, outside of that, with the like, we were we were talking about this before the um, show started. Right now, with the crypto mining, I think it might be hard. A month ago, I would have said, hell yeah. Um, Because the Xbox One X, um, the CPU is still lower in CPU. Graphics cards are on point with about an RX 580. When it launched, it was a $250 graphics card. So I'd say, yeah, a month ago, probably did it for like five, between five, six, maybe 650. Wait, the graphics card on the Xbox One X is equal to an RX 580? Right around there. And that's like 200 something dollars? Mm-hmm. And that's that's the coveted six teraflops of power. I have to look, I'm looking at more of the clock speeds. Teraflops mm, don't mean a ton. People put a lot more emphasis on teraflops than it actually means. Mm. It it's a unit of measurement, but it doesn't. It's not the one measurement to determine speeds. Well, I got a question. Um, when people talk about building uh, a PC that can do what the Xbox One X can do, uh, and this may be seen to be like fanboy, not fanboy, whatever, but like, why does everybody discount the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player? I mean, that is a, a thing the Xbox One X can do. It can play uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray players on your TV. Wouldn't you need to include that in a PC build to do everything that uh, the Xbox One X can do, or am I mistaken? <laughs> That's I think it's a good, it's it's a, question. It's a good question. Yeah, but it, the, the, the real yeah. answer to that is that it's actually kind of useless on that PC, and because the only thing it's going to do is play movies. Yeah, but I'm saying it's a feature of the Xbox, 
And if you're trying to build a PC that can do all the features of the Xbox for a similar price, wouldn't you have to include it? Yeah, I mean, if you want to match it piece by piece, um, feature by feature, you definitely have to. Like, but like Kev said, most people wouldn't wouldn't yeah, use it on their PC. Yeah. But, but it, it kind of throws the it, argument. It, uh, it, it, why does it matter if you use it or not? If it's a feature, it's a feature. Whether you use it shouldn't matter. If you're gonna build, you gotta build spec for spec, feature. Yeah, for which spec. which automatically kills the five hundred dollar PC that's comparable to yeah Xbox One because you're looking at a what three hundred dollar Blu-ray player. But look though, most people that I know who are actually gonna try to do that or build a PC ain't putting that Blu-ray player in there. Games, they're not doing it just for a DVD player. Exactly. Oh yeah, they're doing it's the same it. way people aren't buying an X. Who's buying an Xbox One X for the for the 4K Blu-ray player? No, and nobody, no, nobody. Exactly. Not, yeah, nobody. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when when people say I, I can that's build an Xbox One thing. X, it's, I mean, that's that's like you saying, oh, I can build, you know. An iPhone, but I, I leave out the OS or whatever case may be. It's not a different OS on. It's like it's not the same. When they say that, you're they're still not losing thinking, something. They're not thinking about the features. They're thinking about like as far as the power goes and as far as like games. That's they're not. Okay, so so on the money. So Mix leaving the money so leaving out the Blu-ray player, can you still build a five hundred dollar PC? That's where my figure came from. It was without the Blu-ray player because of um where like I said a month ago you probably could have done it for about. I'd say six to be generous. Mm -hmm. um, depending on what parts you picked, what deals you could find, I can see doing it for five fifty, five hundred flat. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't yeah. know about that, Kev, because the PC that I'm building right now, it's already at like six hundred, and isn't is nowhere near as powerful as the Xbox One X. I still want to see including what... your monitor. Uh no, no monitor. I'm using my TV. I don't. I didn't include the monitor. You can't include the monitor with that because you can't like you can't include the monitor with the Xbox One X because you're gonna hook it up to your TV. And who doesn't right. have a TV? But I get that because that's not a feature of the Xbox One S. That's right. just a, an accessory uh -huh. that you need yeah. to run it. But we're right. talking about actual features that are built into the One S. So yeah. So, so that's why that's why I'm confused though with what you're saying, Kev, because like mine is almost at 600, and that's without a monitor. That's keyboard, um, CPU. I'd have to see. I'd, I'd have to see, I'd have to see you build and what you, and how you actually. You build. help me build the build. What you talking? I, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what you changed. Yeah, my PC. Last time I told, last time we talked about it, you said you changed some shit. Yeah, I did. But still, I don't. I can't. I just. I can't picture it. I can't picture it though. Like for five hundred dollars, I can't picture it though. Well, I know I a couple of people who got some PC builds that aren't that expensive. That they mm -hmm. say they can actually do more than. I mean, do more, but can run games. Um, better than that Xbox One X, but I'm not a yeah. tech person. So Wait I man, hold down, hold down, hold down. Hold down, y'all, hold down. What happened to before we we knew the price of the Xbox of the One X? What happened to even though where in the world the One X gonna be under eight hundred? Um, under eight hundred. It, it got to be yep. at least eight hundred. What happened well, to I'm that? I'm glad that I didn't. Oh, say that. That. That I swear yeah, to all the gods. I've, I've, I've always said, talk. wait and see. I have always said, wait and see. I'm but glad. Guys were swearing. It wasn't like, coming under 800, 700, maybe, mm -hmm. but ain't no way in the world. I They're said, talking about hey, six hey, tail flops and mm -hmm. you talk about. Hey, oh, no, hey, no. Fam, you remember when me and you made our predictions? Me and you said the same thing. Mm -hmm. We was like, it's going to be at least $499. Mm -hmm. you, you I expected it to be at least $499. <laughs> People were talking about like 800 to 1,000. I'm like, I don't think console players are going to go for that. It's, there was when, no way that was happening. That's, that's why I, I had a weight the attitude. But Kev, I think when people were thinking about that, it was when they were saying um the whole the whole 4K uncompromised and all that type of stuff. And I kept hearing yeah, and then PC players were like, oh, so it's gonna be 4K Ultra 60. Yeah, that's what I kept and hearing. I'm like, something. yeah, yeah, I heard a lot about that too. I'm like, I don't think it's gonna be that. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought it was gonna be that. Yeah, um, I didn't either. Kev, I got I got another question. I know nothing about PCs, right? Uh, in okay. fact, I'll be I'll be building my first one uh, later this year to do better YouTube content and things like that. Plus, I just wanted a more. My PC right now is five years old, right? Okay. Like I can't even run anything. My question is, uh, since consoles are one of the reasons people like consoles because you just go to the store, buy it, plug it in, and it works. Like, could you go to a Best Buy and like um uh, uh you know uh, another store and for five hundred dollars buy one that's already pre-built to match the specs for it, or do you have to buy the parts yourself to put it together? You're generally going to get a better um, value if you build it. 
That's yeah. just in general. Um, like yeah, that's where you get your bang for your buck. Expensive. Five hundred. Uh, I don't. I don't. Again, I don't think you're gonna do it for five hundred. Um, for five hundred, you're building more than likely. If you want, if you want something, I'm um, good. There was one on BestBuy.com like a week ago. It was on sale for like six fifty. That was really on point. In fact, right now, especially like we were talking about before with the um, crypto miners. Oh, actually. Here's one right here. I'll put it in the chat for us, fam. If you want to share it in the chat, go for it. Yes, sir. it th this one's on point. It has an RX 460. That's not bad. It's 550. Uh, it's not as powerful as the Xbox One X. It's not. But it's a really solid PC. How much is it? 550. 550. Uh, that's a, a, a pre-built PC? Pre-built PC, um, CyberPower PC. has an RX 460 in there. Um, which AMD? It has an AMD processor. I don't know which one. I'd have to look at that. I think um, to, to go with the question, who was who was PC gamer for? I think it's, I think a lot of it's all about what you're trying to do. For example, exactly. me, me and Nick, you know, I think Nick does anything with his PC to be like smaller indie titles. It's all about content creating. I think Rand Rand said as well to be about content creating. Yeah. Now, yeah. If, you truly, if you truly saying, oh, I don't need an Xbox, I can go out and build me a PC that does 4K, CQ, case may be. Don't expect to build it for five hundred dollars. If you if you really were trying to get the best. You know, and play the games at the at the best fidelity, at the best graphics. Be prepared to spend a thousand plus. I think the whole you, I'm a you, you, you don't have to necessarily spend a thousand bucks either. It goes back to what who is PC gaming for? It's a completely custom platform. If all if all you want to do is play games, then you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you want ultra settings, 4K, 60 frames per second, basically. The more the more power you want out of it, the more money it's gonna cost. Um, people always say things like, um, "Oh, you only play PC for graphics, frame rates, resolutions." All uh. -uh. That's when I got into it, it was for backwards compatibility. I was extremely. I was a 360 dude last generation. I was in love with my 360. I knew a little bit about computers, but I never gamed on one like that. Played like little games here and there. I played like The Sims back in the day, the original. You know, a little shit like that. The original Rainbow Six. A little bit of um, Counter-Strike Source. When I saw the Xbox One reveal, um, one of my boys introduced me to Steam. Shout out to Mortiel and I'm a major from the Pixel Crash podcast. When they put me onto Steam, I'm like, wow, these games are cheap as hell. I plugged my 360 controller into my laptop. I was, for like the first six months, I was just playing off my laptop. I was um, playing whatever I get my hands on. And I saw how well it worked. This is back in 2013. Um, I was like, okay, let's do this. I was going to play off that laptop until my I realized my laptop couldn't run Ghosts as well as I'd like it to. And I was trying to play COD Ghosts off it. It didn't run that well on there. That's what made me build. Other than, other than like I said, the fact that I was frustrated with the Xbox One X, or Xbox One reveal. And um, I saw, I saw the Steam, that was my first Steam sale. I saw it right around the summer sale then. So that's what pushed it to me. I wasn't worried about ultra settings. I wasn't necessarily worried about frame rates. I just wanted a gaming experience that I controlled. And that's what I like about PC gaming. Hey, First Rand. Performance. It's however I want it. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Rand, correct me if I'm wrong. I know one thing we talked about, of course, me, you, and I brought up before was uh, content creator bills, right? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Oh, did I hear that the Xbox One X can stream at 4K60? Is this true? Stream or capture? Either one. I mean, I, so I know something about recording it, or streaming. So, it. you know, the Xbox One can has the upload studio, and it's, it can capture at 720p 30, right? Because that's mm -hmm. I get a lot of that in my comments when I when I do videos from Xbox. Uh, like, I capture the footage. Like, oh, it's still 720p. It's like, hey, man. That's what it captures it at. Like on Share Share Factory on the PlayStation 4, that's 1080p 60, but on the Xbox is 720p 30. Uh, I think it streams out. I want to say it's 720 as well. Like if you're streaming to Twitch or um, mm -hmm. uh, Mixer, uh, the Xbox One X is supposed to do 4K 60, but I don't think on the stream on the capture. Yes, on the stream, um, it, I, I doubt you'll be able to stream it. They haven't announced. 4K streaming yet, so I think That's it'll be 1080p tough. 60. I think it'll. I, I think you'll be able to stream at 1080p 60, but you'll be but able to. Huge. For me, if, if it can uh, stream, if you can, if you shit. I might buy an Xbox One X if you could stream that shit at 4K 60. 
legit, my P, my PC that'd cannot stream at 4K. Yeah, that'd be a miracle, dog. I, 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 I have I'm, a fucking I'm, 1080. I cannot stream it. I cannot stream at 4K. I could probably play a 4K if I bought a 1080p 60 is is perfect. 1080p 60 is perfect. Yeah. Streaming at 1080p 60 is wonderful. Yeah, I'll go on. I'll, right. I'll, I, my best guess is you'll be able to stream at 1080p 60. Maybe down the road mm-hmm. when they get the tools better and Mixer is more, you know, built to do it, you might be able to do it 4K. But you can definitely capture uh, footage at 4K 60. Which, how much does a 4K capture card go for? Yes. 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 So I don't think they have any. I'll do that. It definitely can capture. Do they have any 4K 60 capture? I, I know for a fact it can capture at 4K. Oh, see, that's sweet. That 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 is perfect. That's, that's, a, like, that's, that's an amazing a, feature. Yeah, you can say F of Elgato and at that. Yeah. Point. So I mean, like, because it's like, see, I mean, see. I know you can build a, a, a powerful P, for PC for cheap, but it's like, but that's always like, okay, well, not including the Blu-ray player, which is expensive, but then also not including a 4K capture device, which is also going to be expensive. You know, like. And in fairness, Shadow Play, it's built into your PC. That's what people are capturing with on PC. Shadow play. I heard about that. that? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I've heard yeah. the same thing. People use that. that or like Fame. Fame's using OBS. That's extremely popular on PC. It's freeware. Yeah, OBS. Yeah. Um, that's what I stream my consoles with is OBS. I have an Elgato HD sixty and I plugged it in OBS. I personally don't like their factory and I can't think of what's called on Xbox right now. Uh, I personally don't like them. I think they're extremely limited. I hated the editing on the Xbox, on the uh, Xbox in particular. I hate that it's stuck on the cloud. So you have to wait for everything to kind of stream in and download. Share Factory, that's the they game. I, so they, it's way. Upload yeah. Studio was horrible. I used to like yeah, Share Factory. Factory. What, I, what I used to yeah. do was I used to capture my gameplay and go to XboxDVR.com and download it from my computer because it was instantaneous. Mm-hmm. But Upload Studio right. was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the here's the bullshit yeah. about Upload Studio. They have it on um, the Windows 10 games too, and it's better on the computer. Like, that makes no sense. You're copying the same thing. And it's not that the Xbox One doesn't have the hardware for it. They just didn't do it for whatever reason. I have, no doubt my mind, I have no doubt slow. in my mind that cause the, yes, the Xbox is. One and the PS4 aren't that far off from each other. E- e- you said what you were saying? They're not. I was saying it was just really, it's just slow. It's really slow yeah, yeah. to use. Yes, it is. It's they, they, just needed to, they needed to make it more user-friendly. Uh, and mm-hmm. then way more options than what are available. Uh, and, and why the, doesn't it, and why doesn't the Xbox stream to YouTube yet? Oh, that's never gonna happen. I, I believe oh, I believe that's that an issue with Microsoft happen. and Google. Yeah, I really yeah. do. The, I, 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 really I hope do. it is because that, if that you think about it, the like. Xbox One had the YouTube app before the PlayStation did. Yeah, for a few months. Year. Yeah, I, I was no, jealous. It was the first two years. It was oh, like first. That was about a year, maybe a year and a half. Like a year. It was a long time. Cause I had I had both systems at the same time. Yeah, and I remember that it was a long, a long time. But then and you could upload, you could upload videos to your YouTube channel from your Xbox, like a direct upload to your channel. That was yeah, I remember like, when oh, the PS4 first came out. You had to, would you had to like put it on Facebook and then yeah. download it? All right, I used to hate bullshit. that. I used to hate that man. I used to be jealous mm-hmm. of Xbox yeah. with that man. Like, so, so for me, even even if I were to like go back to full on console gaming, I could never go back to capturing there. It's too limited. Yeah, like I. I for yeah, for me, that that that's one of the big I mean, things about it's I mean, flexibility. Share factory, share factory, pretty dope though. But yeah, since I've been using Elgato, since I've been using okay, Elgato, I can't thing. I can't go back after. I'm just that saying, who would share share factory and like if that's your only means, it, especially if, work with it. Like, if you had a PlayStation from day one and you use share factory to now, it's completely different. Mm-hmm. It added a whole lot to it for people who can't afford an Elgato. Right, I I agree. I used to use it for like the first year or two. Well, my games be 720p, but I check a board render them up to 1080. For uh, <laughs> upscale that thing. <laughs> you know what the worst feature of Upload Studio is? What? The fact you can't save anything. Mm, yeah. Yes. You can't oh, save any know. projects. Really? On your sis, on no. the system. Yeah, you have to upload it to OneDrive. Or- yeah. I well, it's not, even, it's not even that. It's just I've had it fail to render or fail to upload. And the only thing you can do is yeah. discard the whole project. Like, wow. it say that. Yeah. So I, I remember uh, I used to I used to use Share Factory thing um, before I got my capture card. I'm not sure, <laughs> Evelyn Studio. And the amount of times that it failed made me just not want to capture Xbox gameplay. And they added That's that trash ass green screen. I was like, get all this green shit out of here. here. <laughs> you can't make it. You can't make it record more than five minutes, but you're gonna add this trash ass green screen. That's another one thing that pissed me off. That five minutes, and you can't record a live gameplay. 
Yeah, they, no, it's all retroactive. Like, I think it was like fifteen minutes, and then it went all the way up to thirty. Oh, you can do it on PS4 now. Yeah, it's up to thirty. You can you can choose it in like the settings. It's yeah, because uh, you know, when ex- the default is like I think 10, 15 minutes, and then you gotta mm-hmm. go into the settings. Although I don't, can you st- can you record live? Because like with Xbox, you can choose thir- the last thirty seconds, the last minute, the last five yeah. minutes, like three minutes and five minutes. We can also just start recording like the press of button. You can do that on Share Oh, when do they start doing that on Xbox? Cause mm-hmm. I only I've only ever seen the retroactive one. Yeah. No, nah, you can make them record the last five minutes. It's once you. Hit That's what I mean. But like, like I can't like turn on a game and just do like a live commentary. No. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm mad the Xbox can't do that. Yeah. Oh, you mean like start a game, start recording, and then like yeah. talk over it? Yeah. No. You can do it on PlayStation. Yeah, you can. And PlayStation record up to sixty minutes. Oh, the sixty. Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't know. It's sixty minutes now. It yep. It's it sixty minutes now. Thirty. And then yep. Sixty. Yeah, and I as mean, far as YouTube saying, gaming. Yeah. You can you can record live commentary while playing a game live on PlayStation. Yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah, you just open up the game. Mm-hmm. Start, just start the game, double tap that share button, and start recording. And it, it, it yeah. okay. easier. I know it doesn't with me because with me, I don't have a mic. I use my PlayStation camera, so it yeah. catches my voice. Trust so me. I can, I can before I, it, trust me. Before I became a YouTube star like I am now, I used to um, oh, do that. Oh, please. Well, that about YouTube gaming, Ryan? You about to say? I was just saying YouTube gaming. Just it's never gonna come. <laughs> like Microsoft has basically phased out Twitch now to 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 concentrate on Mixer. Uh, so and then you know, like you said, YouTube and Google don't get along. Uh, they're all about Mixer now, right? So they're not gonna let YouTube gaming come on. Uh, they they phased. You can still stream with the Twitch app. But like all the notifications, like you used to, would it would send a notification to all your followers if you're streaming on Twitch. They no longer do that. They used to put the streams from Twitch on the store. So if you wanted to see, hey, who's streaming Dead Rising Four, it used to be you would put the Twitch streams there. They no longer do that. It's all mm-hmm. Mixer. So like they completely just well, as they expected, own they, they, they own know. Mixer too. Like why yeah. wouldn't you push your own product? Exactly. One thing I, like so I can't get that. The 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 delay on Mixer is like. Literally, it's half instantaneous, man. Yeah, I, 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 I hear Mixer. I'll tell you something. I can really wait five thing. minutes for a reply. On Mixer, it's instant. Like, instantly hear me can instantly reply back to me. It's a beautiful thing. I love it. I wanted to try Mixer, but you know, it's not on PlayStation. Well, uh, Microsoft hasn't ruled out letting uh, the Sony Sony. Well, fans Microsoft play. Microsoft's all about like cross play and all. Like they would mm-hmm. love if PlayStation Sony not use Sony Mixer. not getting Mixer. But Sony, Sony ain't doing that they because they they don't want to promote anything. I mean, yeah, Xbox. that plus they have uh, live with PlayStation. It's like their little hub, so they have like little live with PlayStation, where it's PlayStation people uh, live streaming from the actual PlayStation, and then um, the people who are live streaming to Twitch, and they got all of it in one hub. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe this is just my bias. Like I look at Mixer, like I look at Hitbox. Why would you stream there when the audience is on Twitch? Like even YouTube. Like if you like if you're really about live streaming, go to Twitch. If yeah, you're really about we making like actual videos. Them. That's what you do on YouTube. It's yeah, hard but, to get a following on Twitch. Kind of, but it, it's, it, it's going to be harder to get one on, on Mixer because ain't nobody there. Yeah, but you can ease, like, if you're just starting now, I would recommend Mixer because Twitch and YouTube are completely so sat- oversaturated. Yep. Like, you could you could make something on Mixer. Sure, it might be a struggle, but, like, I mean, come on. Twitch, Twitch, yes, it has the audience, but the audience is there for certain people. Right. Uh, you start streaming now on Twitch, you'll get one person. Like, you could stream on Mixer, maybe you get a few, but... If you tick with it because there's less people there and less competition, so to speak. My first day on Mixer, my first stream, I had like 10 people in there. And I was shocked. I didn't expect nobody being there. I was like, oh, and, what the hell? And here's the thing. If you're streaming from Xbox, and if you have a number of followers on Xbox, it sends a notification to everybody. And then everybody can come in. I mean, I streamed last week twice on Mixer. I'm going to be honest. I really like it. And then we're already talking about doing, you know, co-streaming. That's another thing. Up to four yes, people that can is stream amazing. at Why the same time. Oh, wait, you can't. Yeah, well, but on your I mean. system, though. I mean, well, you, you kind of well, I, 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 I was really thinking, like, if you really want to co-streaming, you could on restream. But then I thought about it. You're streaming directly from the call. Yeah, co stream is dope. Yeah, all of us can, uh, four of us can start a stream and people watch mm-hmm. it, and I'll watch all yeah. four of us at one but time. But we're talking about features Amazing. on your console that used to be only unique to the PC. And I understand right, right. there's something different, though, I think you have to do as far as setting up. 
the yeah. co-stream and stuff on the Xbox. But I see where the, where they're going with it. And Mixer had a huge presence at E3. This wasn't a time where Microsoft was just kind of throwing something out there, you know, because sometimes Microsoft has a habit of not fully supporting some of their products and services sometimes. But I, it, it appears that they are in it for the long haul with Mixer. Mixer was, I mean, everywhere. When I was um, looking for the PlayStation 4 um, booth and area, it was just kind of funny because I was filming. I saw this big Mixer sign. And I was like, no, I couldn't, not, there's no way the PlayStation is near here because Microsoft's Mixer is just like right here, front and center. And lo and behold, right before you enter the PlayStation and, and the post where IG and all, there's this big Mixer booth right there. I mean, I, huge. Yeah, I really nice. think Microsoft nice. kind of, they're starting to get it as far as looking at the bigger picture. Like they want to be not just the game's console, but gaming. They want to facet in everything in gaming. They have their game show with uh, Xbox Week, or what's it, the, um, This Week in Xbox. They have their live streaming service. Of course, they have their console. Um, they're trying to be a part of everything in gaming. That's awesome. Yeah, and I, th- I and think the, the interactive part of it is actually pretty dope too. That's that. Yeah. I don't know if that's been around somewhere else, but I think the interactive part of it is actually pretty dope. Well, Xbox has always been a social platform too, so I think if yeah. anyone, Xbox is the right platform for, to do something like streaming. Is Mixer on Elgato as well, or will it come to Elgato? Well, it's, it's on your it's on your PC, so you can hook your Elgato up. Yeah, you, it you, works you, with your if you go to restreaming.io, you mm-hmm. can sync all of your streaming apps together mm. and then go into OBS. They'll give you an individual stream key for restream, and then it'll send it to all of the um, streaming apps that you're using. Oh, okay. Are there any fees, uh, Kev, with uh, restreaming? Is there you, any you, fees you, you can pay for it. Uh-huh. It's, it's a freeware app. You can pay for it to get more features. Okay. But you don't have, but it's not, it's not mandatory. I was gonna say, I think Nia uses that because she streams on like three different Yeah, she told me. One time. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people use it. It's, it's free, it's free. Like that's what I was doing when, um, when I was streaming more consistently, I was going to Hitbox, YouTube, and Twitch. Listen, my somebody, question was about that was how was, excuse me, uh, uh, fan, just how the latency was on that. And Nia said it was pretty decent. It wasn't I'm bad. Thinking, you know, you're streaming to three and four different, you know, because what what you're doing is you're streaming directly to Restream, and then on their servers they're streaming it out to the other exactly. um, platforms. Yeah, yeah, cool. Hey, it's just hard. It's because I used to stream on Twitch and then I, I stopped and I kind of started doing the YouTube thing. Uh, but I've streamed on Mixer and like it's it's honestly hard to go back to Twitch because with the Twitch there's a 20 second delay and mm-hmm. Mixer is instantaneous. Mm-hmm. It's 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 kind of a different experience. Now, we'll here's what I think will happen. I think Twitch will somehow develop their own technology for it and do, you know, near near zero second latency, and then like a lot of mixers' uh, advantages will be negated because you got to feel like Twitch is probably like, all right, we probably need to do this. Um, but then you know, mixers directly integrated with the Xbox, so um, they do. It is the second tab now. Fame, you know, you saw it's like you go home, like where your game is. The next tab over is Mixer. literally Mixer. Yep. You know, yep. it's like they they push that, they're pushing that very hard. They've spent a lot of money on it. They had they the plans they have for Mixer are huge, and ever growing. So it's gonna be interesting to see how, what it grows to in a few years. And it was dope if you was watching the um after e the, the day after E three the little E three daily stuff. If you was watching throughout the Mixer, they would give you free games. So I watched it. Doing through Mixer, and I got end up getting like uh, no time to explain the last uh, the last station rare replay. Like I just I turned my Xbox on. I had DLC for Halo Wars too. I think that's pretty dope what they're doing with it. And they're they're starting off great with the with the marketing of it, which I think is brilliant. But before we switch topics, I do want to uh, do uh, let you guys know we will have a show next week, but will not be on Wednesday. It will be on Thursday. So double uh, XP next Thursday, seven p.m. Central Time. Make sure you guys are locked. Now uh, we all switching topics, and we do. I do want to talk about Sony's PR statements uh, in 2017. We all know from the start of the generation, Sony has been flawless for the most part. They ever had any <laughs> They haven't done anything wrong in the PR department. They've been zing out the zing with the things they do as far as you know how do you share games, and they haven't made a bad move yet. Until 2017 came and everyone wants, everyone wants to say something stupid or do something stupid. Um, huh. Even so, 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 let's, let's not forget, Sony was banning people from PSN 
um, what was it, back in 2014, 2015? Mm-hmm. His credit card information got stolen. He told his bank to get his money back, and they banned him from PSN. Oh, yeah. yeah that that, 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 that was some, That was isolated, but like the stuff going on right now is just so. Like, just recently, recently with, the, with the chargebacks. This, 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 from, this isn't isolated. Mm-hmm. This happened a few times. With the chargebacks from PayPal, they're banning people. Uh, mm-hmm. We don't we don't have a clear thing, a clear answer whether or not EA or Sony did the Photoshop job on <laughs> Anthem, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Um, the whole situation, but. What do you guys think about what's, what's, what's going on with Sony and, the, and their PR at the beginning of 2017? It's been kind of, it's been kind of funky lately. What's going on? I think they're uh, getting yeah. kind of, um, I think they're getting kind of cocky to be honest. They're getting a little too relaxed right now, in my opinion. They're letting people talk that normally shouldn't be talking. You know, Jim Ryan, for example. Um, you know, I, I just think they're getting kind of cocky. They're getting a little relaxed right now. They need to tighten that ship up over there because, you know, Xbox is, you know, starting to make some moves right now. You know what I'm saying? They might they might actually become competition this year. So, you no, know, they're they not. might. I know they're not. Uh, hey, they might, man. They might become competition. Uh, Xbox is not going to. It is map. Or, 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 or 2018, they may actually become some real competition. So, like, Sony needs to go ahead and tighten this they, shit over there. Xbox is down like four to one. Left and right. <laughs> yeah now 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 let's get back let's get to this um freaking um photoshop stuff so ea ea is saying check sony sony check, sony, <laughs> check ea so like like, <laughs> like okay so do we really think someone at playstation youtube do we really think that they photoshopped or do we think ea did this like like he ain't not taking that blame he ain't not taking it down how that sony <laughs> He ain't not taking that blame. Yeah, like people just either stop way, either way, either way, it's, I think it's a bad look for Sony, man. Because okay, but wait a minute. If EA YouTube, you know? didn't do it, and EA not taking the blame, is EA saying they didn't do it? Nah, they just say talk, go talk to Sony. They didn't say they not what, didn't what do it or mean? not. They just okay, they're pretty much did. saying they didn't do it. They saying Sony did it. Talk to Sony. Yeah. Come well, on. It, 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 it's PR, no comment. And, see, and Sony, and Sony hasn't said anything. That's the problem. Sony yeah. ain't said nothing. Oh come on, then. Yeah. Wait, so EA, what? So the, someone asked EA hey. and EA said they had no comment? Yeah, EA said, EA said talk to Sony. Talk to Sony, it. yep. And Sony <laughs> Sony hasn't said anything, so that makes them look very guilty right now. Can, can you link me this good, sir? Because uh, I would like to see EA's response. I, mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. Because I would like to see. I don't know. Because the, usually how this works is that the publishers send the developers the or Right. The publishers send Microsoft and Sony the videos. Right. Right. And they probably sent the and they put it up. version. And then I think Sony, if anyone did doctor it up. But my question is still, why is this relevant? Well, it was like, relevant. Like, like, it was relevant like, two years ago there, when when Microsoft yeah, it, put it, up it, the Witcher 3 footage and everybody it, threw no, it Kev, no, Kev, and, and, no, 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 this is common practice. It's shady. No, it's shady, Kev. No, this is shady shit. Like <laughs> there, there are buttons on the screen. Are so, we here for the are we here for the gameplay and to see what the game still, actually is? You no, know, they're trying to or, pass it off. They're trying to pass it off as PlayStation footage when it's Xbox football, footage. Exactly. That is not a good look. That is horrible. <laughs> what they should have just said is it's PC footage and left it alone. It's Xbox X footage, sir. Right, right. No, I'm saying, but if they would have said that in the first place, that would have taken both sides off the hook. And at the same time, like, are we interested more in the game or are we interested in what plastic it's on? If it's on the PlayStation YouTube channel, it needs to be PlayStation gameplay in the story. That that's shady. And it's, it's it's a bad look right now. Like Sony really needs to say something. It makes them look guilty as hell, which I'm I'm inclined to think they are guilty. I'm trying to figure out if I can't find publisher sent them the footage and it was that didn't have PlayStation things on it, why not send it back and tell them to send them game or whatever they sent them? Right, there has to be quality control, yeah, right? Like, yeah. well, but you can only see it if... can make EA do shit. But, like, I don't know, because, like, usually how this stuff... Like, when I get press releases developers, they send me the trailers. And, like, they send Sony and Microsoft that stuff. They flip out the icons, right? Mm-hmm. So my thinking is EA sent it. Because my thinking is there is no PS4 Pro version of that game. There's no footage of on it running on a PS4 Pro. So they just took the footage from the Xbox One X. They thought they could get away with uh, doing a good job, uh, you know, transposing the I- icons for the PlayStation and sending it to Sony. Because at the end of the day, it's a multi-platform game. Sony wants their fans to know that Anthem's coming to their system. And EA wants money. So EA did, uh, you know, they did the the work. They gave it to Sony. Sony was like, all right, well, we trust EA because we've done this millions of times. They put it up on their channel, but they didn't check to make sure 
And of course, then there's people out there who literally went through it frame by frame until they saw the discrepancy. So then what's Sony to do? Like the, you know, they got caught red handed putting up like, it's what I said today on Xbox two podcast. Like I'm responsible for what goes up on my YouTube channel. Right. Right. Like if somebody sent, if one of my friends sends me a video and I put it up on my channel, even if it's from him, it's reflects on me. Uh, so you're ultimately, you're responsible for what goes up on your channel. Like same thing with fame. Like he's responsible for what goes up on his channel. So, mm-hmm. you know, should they, should they have gone through the fine tooth comb to make sure nothing was wrong? Maybe, but probably they just assumed EA did it right. Um, however, with that said, if Sony literally took the footage and and doctored it themselves and put it up Jesus. without EA's knowledge, that's some shady shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm, trying to link, I'm trying to find a link to where they had said, I, I can't, I'm losing my mind trying to find. If they did that, that's different. I just remember a Microsoft apologizing because they had uploaded PC footage of The Witcher 3 to their, to their YouTube channel and the entire internet going ballistic and going crazy. No one was saying this is common practice. And, and no, all the no, time. One, no one made excuse for Microsoft nope. whatsoever. Oh, only thing I, all I say is... If we're going to hold one company accountable, we should hold them all. That's the only issue I have in this. I, you guys know me. I don't give a, a, a rat. Um, okay, I'm going to give a shit. I'll say it for you. I'll say it for you. She don't give a shit. Come Thank you. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> who wins a war? You know, I don't. I don't care who's leading in sales. I don't care about mm-hmm. NPDs. I game. I'm going to game wherever I want to play my games at, and nobody's going to tell me how I'm going to spend my money. Okay? But what I do say is, we should hold the, the fire, the, their feet to the fire, regardless of who mm-hmm. it is. If we were angry at Microsoft, we should be angry at Sony. We yes. should call it. Call the a problem spade is, a spade. Is we have too many people that yeah. are more about the plastic than the games. They will def- they will defend Sony. And if, yeah, death. And, and if we're gonna dismiss it and say it's no big deal, then it's no big deal if Microsoft does it. It's no big deal if Sony. We should just not make it a big deal. Like Kev said, just go ahead and game. Who cares if whatever whatever whose gameplay it is or how it got there? If that's the case, just right. don't, don't have these different standards though. One of these one of these big um, media outlets, I I'm, I'm I will find it. Who talked about it? Said they had asked. EA for a comment, and they said, and Nick, Nick, I know Nick must have read the same article. I will find it for this night. Well, I saw one where Eurogamer asked Sony, and and Sony hasn't responded. I didn't see any of that. They asked EA about it. But Nick said it best. Like, like you go to these YouTube channels, and you're supposed to, what they put up there is supposed to be indicative of your experience if you get that game on PlayStation. Right, And the reason people were upset with Microsoft was because the footage they put up at Witcher 3 at 1080p 60 is not indicative of what you would be playing on the Xbox One. And the same thing goes for this. The PS4 Pro is a weaker system than the Xbox One X. Uh, That game is not going to look or run like that on the PS4 Pro, so it's not indicative of what you'd be getting if you played it on PlayStation, and that's where you can say the deception lies in on that one, you know? Exactly. It's false advertising. It's shady business. Shout out to the Mac of all 010 for the support. Thinking about it, too, E3 is all deception and lies. Remember Watch Dogs? Mm, The the Division. division. (laughs) Yeah. Um, the Witcher's original trailer. Don't remind me, man. Don't remind me. I, I'm saying the gaming industry stay lying to us. That's I don't trust them. Oh. I, I don't trust them either. But I'm hoping that this freaking um this anthem man looks just like that. Like I'm hoping it does. I hope it looks better. Actually, I'm hoping they look. Yeah, I, 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 see, I, I've, I've I've always said this. I, I I'm not a fanboy of plastic. I'm a fanboy of Mass Effect. I admit it. For, I admit it. Um, first and foremost. Yeah, we fuck know. Anthem. <laughs> Just man. Yeah, how does it make you feel to know that Mass Effect is never ever coming back, bro? Yeah, how does that make you feel? How does it make you feel that somebody uh, bought me? How does it make you feel that honestly, somebody bought me? Somebody bought me at Dramada and I haven't even touched it yet. How somebody does it feel to know that Anthem's the real Mass Effect? Mm. Damn. Damn. Mm. That, that that's not even mm. accurate, mm. but damn. Mm. You're trying, you're trying. I'm just saying, like, look, I'm a huge Mass Effect fan, but like I I I don't see the correlation between Anthem and Mass Effect. I mean, well, I mean, the real team. Well, I look they at it. Said, like, they said they're avoiding lore. Like Mass Effect, half, a lot of the appeal is the lore. And they said, "Oh, Anthem shit just happens because it happens. We're not focused on the story. We're just 
here. I just think because it's, it's kind of, I just thought it was kind of bad that Mass Effect, this great franchise, gets handed off to a B tier studio and never mm-hmm. made a game. And the mm-hmm. real people who made real Mass Effect, what it was, mm-hmm. are making this new game that turns out to be what Mass Effect should have been for the new gen. Mm-hmm. That is sad. Right. You know? That is so true. Right. I, I, part, the big part of it, too, I would have. I, I was good with them ending at Mass Effect 3. So I was, was I. With I was good with that. I thought it was a great series, great franchise. If you're going to come back, come back at equal quality or not at all. And now they say, oh, and I don't necessarily believe the rumors of them shelving it because of reviews. I believe they might have squandered their money, so there might not be any single player DLC. That might be true. I think but they if you look it because at, of but, sales. I don't think it had anything to do with the reviews. This is EA we're talking about, you know? All it matters is them's money. Yeah, but. Yeah, they don't care about quality. <laughs> while, while, while a lot of that is true, keep in mind when businesses do projects like this, they have a budget. They planned out the DLC. They probably already budgeted. They already budgeted. They probably had already started it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but if like, cause like before, before all the rumors happened, you know, uh, originally that like the team had all been moved. I was told by someone very high up that uh, it was dead, and this was before all that news came out. So like, I'm I'm pretty confident. Like, it'll probably be another ten years before you hear about another Mass Effect. That the, the game's dead, unfortunately. I don't know why they did that, though. Oh, oh, I, I still have a wait and see attitude, but that's how I am about most things. Um, mm-hmm. Especially because I don't trust a word Kutaku says. Hey, if this would have came, if this would have came from Gamespot or Eurogamer, that would have held a lot more weight to me. And you know what's the weird thing is? It's like when I last looked, Mass Effect was the fifth best-selling game of the year. So if you're saying the fifth best selling game of the year is not profitable in any way and you have to shove the franchise, what does that say about the video game industry overall? Mm-hmm. I saw remember, remember when Tomb Raider sold, like, nah. remember when Spin Tomb Raider sell like three million or was it two million? And Quernick said, Oh, that's not profitable enough. It's I'll like, sell, excuse me? I I'll sell my copy of Mass Effect for twenty dollars. Who wants it? It was it's it was best buy brand game. new right now for twenty dollars. You gotta play, play that game, game Nicodemus. It's brand new. I haven't even played. Somebody bought it for me. I'm, it. I'm not playing it. I still. I mean, you need to stop disrespecting Mass Effect, sir. I love Mass Effect one, two, and three, man. But this this right here, I can't get with it. I can't get jiggy with this shit. Yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda is is not a bad game. It is the weakest story of the three. Speaking uh, no. of getting jiggy with shit. No, 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 no. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is out, and it is actually uh, selling faster than Horizon Zero Dawn. So the nostalgia of people, the the love of Crash is prevalent as ever. Uh, What do you guys think about, I mean, how fast and well this game is selling? And if you has anyone played it, and are you enjoying it? I knew it was going to happen. I told people, I'm like, yo. They're doing this test run for Crash to see if the interest is still there. If the interest mm-hmm. is still there like I think it is. It's going to catch fire. I knew it. Yeah. People have um, been asking for these P, um, these old PS1 and PS2 IPs are forever. Now they're asking for Jackson. Uh, I play, I play yeah. Crash. I play Crash. I play Crash 1 or whatever like that. Um, oh, and I, I didn't, I didn't really like, I didn't really like like the controls and stuff. As you guys know, I may give like Crash 2 and 3 a chance before I just totally ride the whole thing off. Um, but I didn't really like the controls or whatever, but I, I do, I am glad that it's selling really well because it may bring back like the interest in publishers to make more quality platformers. So I am happy for, for that aspect of it. Now, as far as like a new crash or whatever like that, I mean, that'd be cool to bring it, bring it up to speed as far as the modern day goes, like the controls and what a platformer should feel like, in my opinion, that'd be cool. But mainly the big thing is this is bigger than crash for me. I'm, I'm excited to see what publishers will do as far as making some really good um, new IPs in the, in the platforming genre. Because right now, mainly platformers, they're mainly in the indie side of things, which, you know, that I, honestly, platformers is like my favorite type of genre. So that's why I play a lot of independent games because they make those types of games for the most part. Um, so I'm just, I'm excited to see like more AAA studios get behind this. Um, and I think they will. I mean, you know, sales matter, uh, money matters. So if they see Crash doing this well, uh, more publishers get behind it. Hey, Ray. I mean, want a platformer don't you just buy a nintendo uh, 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 no sir no we need it we need it more than on nintendo i hear what you're saying like that mario that mario looks dope that mario actually has me wanting to buy a switch but something told me today you better finish building this damn pc first before you buy anything else you light-skinned bastard 
That's right. <laughs> and if you want, dude, I'm going to tell you straight up. I'll tell you my 970 for 120. It's still sitting on my shelf. Brad, Brad I got to ask you, and I'm holding this to the fire. <laughs> I got to ask you, is, is, is it coming to Xbox, Rand? Is it coming to Xbox? I mean, they never said it was exclusive to PlayStation. It's not in the box, so yeah, it's coming. I mean, it's owned by Activision. Activision yeah. likes money. You talking about Crash? It'll, it'll be on Xbox next year. It'll be a, it'll be a year like next year. I, I don't care if one's coming to Xbox. One's coming to PC. It'll be, a, it'll be a year next next year this time. I don't, know. I don't know. I mean, there's the rumors it was coming in December. Um, December? I don't know, yeah. man. I think if it, it might go to PC, you never know. But my feeling is, as good as like that nostalgia hit mm -hmm. real hard, and for people who haven't played it. I wouldn't mind it going to other platforms, man. It's not it's not going to PC. PC ain't got no games. That was my child. Yo, Crash is like my childhood. <laughs> PC, PC ain't got no good PC ain't got no good games. They just got RTS games. So it's not what RTS. Is this? RTS games are amazing. Two of my it's like what it, performers gotta be Crash and um and Mario. <laughs> so I'm just happy that they're back. So in Jack Let me ask this question. I, I want a new Jack and Daxter, but I know I'm never gonna get one. Mm, not from that. I, I, I saw oh, an no, article no, no, today. No. They were talking about remastering Jack and Daxter. Actually, I yeah, I was looking at it at work on my lunch on my phone, so I don't have that. Yeah, have that, that new that remaster is coming this August. That um Jack and Daxter along with the uh, uh, Charter game. And that's dope. I mm -hmm. I will play that because I'm a huge. What does it say about the gaming industry though? When Crash outsells everything except for Ghost Recon. That's crazy. That I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's nostalgia, not even, nostalgia, like, nostalgia, powerful man. Nostalgia. No, powerful, I don't even man. think it's nostalgia. I think it's just the lack of quality. It's the fact. Like that it's how, how many games are just copy and paste each other? True. Like all these games, like you can switch out Tomb Raider for Uncharted and have a decent experience. But as far as quality, those like Crash is not that great. I'm I mean, about to say the same thing. Crash is overrated. Crash, Crash is overrated. Crash is overrated as hell. I love Crash, and the thing about Crash it's is nostalgia. That's why you love it. Crash, I, I said it. The difference between one, two, and three are the controls and the difficulty. Because Crash one, the controls are bad, but the game is harder. Crash two, the game is easier, but the, the controls aren't that bad either. Yeah, I need to Crash try Crash two because Crash one threw me off for the whole thing. I was yeah, like, Crash one, Crash, Crash one is not that the the game is harder, but it's it's harder because nine times out of ten the controls are not up to par. But when you play Crash two, the controls aren't like that. Because my home matter, my a lot of my friends have the game and they keep telling me the same thing. They're like, yo, the controls this and the other. But when they play the second one, it's a totally different experience. Mm. Same thing with Uncharted one and Uncharted two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. I tried to win the the shooting mechanics was, was crazy, but they were just too loose. Way better. They were too loose in the original. That was the problem for me. Yeah, it's just it was way better. But I'm happy because it did what it did in two days. <laughs> that's in that's insane. And that's it's hope. an old that's game. Hope right that's hope right there. That's it hope, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I mean, oh, I don't, I don't think oh, good games are good games. Good games are timeless. Look yeah. at something like the Xbox backward compatible compatible games. Exactly. I'm pretty that's sure Black Ops Two is one of the most popular games on Xbox. Right exactly, now. and that's the point yeah, I'm but, making. But see, I was told by Sony nobody wants to play old games. To see, think, Thank you, bro. Apologies are mad that they don't have another, backward compatibility. Not a PR statement. <laughs> but I don't want them looking or running the same either. Crash doesn't look like it did on PS2. It well, that Crash is a remake. It's just like Ratchet and Clank. The ground up. Ratchet and Clank that came out last year. That a, was, yeah, it was a complete oh, remake oh, again oh, from the ground up. Oh, you know what? I figured it out. I know why Sony's making all these bad PR statements. They're trying to catch up to Xbox and Microsoft. Oh God! You know, oh, you have to try to pull <laughs> some. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Bill. Bill said that single player games suck ass, and there's no reason. No, for no, 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 sir. Oh, so, sir. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? They're just they trying to catch up. Give him a hug they're they, they, they trying to catch up. He did they're not say that. Just give him a hug at E3. He's still mad. Uncle Shu. Uncle Shu pissed me off. I'm not dealing with him no more. Do y'all think? Do y'all think Crash is going to be number one in NPDs, and it only came out for two days? Nah. What else came out in June? Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to say. No. <laughs> I can't think came out. Came out in June. Yeah, it might it's be number one. It's still an old game, though. I'm responding to somebody in chat. Number one would probably be a remake. Be like, oh, yeah, but it's still an old game. game. That's the point I'm making. I'm not doing that. Black Ops 2 is on the top 10 as an old-ass game. 
I mean, shit happens. But the thing is, too, when the last time you had a crash, like, crap, man, Activision been holding crash hostage for how long? Been and now that it's successful, you're going to get Crash Team Racing. I you're going to get all a bunch of pu- publishers being move. like, well, Bugs Bubsby's back. You know, like, you're going to see a whole bunch of... I mean, Activision has been doing... They've oh, been, man. Activision has been, like, holding Sony hostage for... I know Sony's probably been trying for years. You know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping this shows... This lets Phil know that he should bring back Blinks or let Blinks come mm-hmm. back. I'd be happy how about many, that. How many IPs did that uh, Xbox just let die on the original? They got a whole bunch of IPs. I mean, and, they, I, I, and I'm saying this: I never owned the original Xbox. I bought an Xbox 360 because the PS3 launch price pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I would probably never ever touch the Xbox. I was just, I, I loved my PlayStation. The Xbox, so, but, but, but Xbox, and then what? What's going on with Rare? We're having uh you know, conquering all those games. They, they're sitting on a crap ton of IPs, dude. They're just yes. sitting on IPs. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're just sitting on them. And I... I Xbox you see me a Banjo-Kazooie? An amazing library of games. A Banjo-Kazooie on these trilogy? IPs. A Banjo-Remake wouldn't sell like crazy? Hell yeah! How many of y'all... Conquer, how many of wouldn't sell like crazy? Hell yeah! yeah. So let me ask you a question. How many of y'all were a little upset that when y'all saw that Super Lucky Tales that that wasn't Conquer? Oh, uh, yeah, I thought it was Conquer at first. The crowd, the crowd was like, oh. oh. I it was yeah, everybody did say that, though. I, mean, I was that shit on everybody. everybody. I thought it was, too. They was like, oh. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, that's what they said. Like, because Sony got a bunch of IPs, too. Like, I still want Sides and Filter back, God damn it. The thing about Sony is they kill their IPs and make new ones. Yeah. They do it every generation. Well, I mean, Microsoft kills their IPs, too. But they don't make they, new ones. That's the hey, problem. guys, I do want to well, say... They do, they do. I do. Like, they, they, they have ReCore. Nobody likes ReCore Okay, Cap, Cap, please stop now. Please stop. <laughs> I do want to say... <laughs> really, fam? We really? About, <laughs> we talked about Crash, uh, the platformer coming to Xbox. But then we know that's a platformer that ain't coming to PlayStation. Cuphead, who mad? Raise the hand, raise the hand. Why is this making the? I don't understand why it's mad. I have have an Xbox. Why would I be mad? Like that don't make no sense. I I have a PC. I play all the time. Honestly, honestly, Cuphead was never meant to come to PlayStation. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't know. I made a video. I don't don't know why. I made a video about that today. The real reason. Of course, people make deal. I think it's silly, but everyone's up in arms about. Oh my God, it's never coming to PS4. I'm like, why? I've associated Cuphead with Xbox since the beginning. Like, so I never thought it was coming to PlayStation. It's been like in development. For how many years? Five years? We've been talking about Cuphead for five years or so now. Like, I'm just glad it has not out. been five years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I just hope it doesn't end up like Quantum Broke. Ah, uh, Cuphead is going to be No, Cuphead is going to be dope. It's an indie. So it's going to be people. They just off top. Mm-hmm. Off top. Independent After developers. Scale barrel, inter- listen to me. Independent broke, developers the care about collection. their game. It's gonna be, it's gonna be no, dope. but Ori and the Blind Forest did really well, okay. And it was or, Ori's dope. Ori's yeah, dope. I, have, Ori I haven't did, beat it yet. I, I Ori played did some Ori. Very well. And I look at Cuphead in, in the same aspect as I do Ori. That it's, it's almost what Moon Studios did with Ori, and Microsoft came behind and supported. And and I see the same thing with Cuphead. And so, nah, the Cuphead devs I, I, sold I, I, their I, houses and no, everything the, to, to make this game great, so it's gonna be great. Refinance the going back to Ori. So, I really, yeah, really hope Microsoft. My bad. Going back to Ori, I really, really hope Microsoft takes care of this IP and they keep this IP. Because that, that's one of my biggest problems with yeah. Microsoft. They, they don't, they just don't have enough IPs. They did announce it. They did announce. You didn't Microsoft see the world. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought they announced. I thought they announced a new yeah. one. But I'm saying, I hope it becomes like a long-standing IP. Well, they, they only have they they Halo they and Gears games, and Forza. So. Oh, Microsoft. You know, I don't, don't want Ori every year, but maybe um, like the new Ori I'm, every two, three years. I'm Microsoft pretty sure. IP. I'm pretty sure Microsoft owns the Ori IP. Nice. Good. I, I, I like oh, that. I thought you said they own the Cuphead IP. I'm going to say no. No, no. 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 Cup, the, the Cuphead is owned by... Problem with, I wouldn't have, have a problem with them owning that yeah, either. Yeah. But yeah, or, or is owned by Microsoft, but but Moon Studios is an independent studio. Yeah. I mean, that's... So a, it's, it's one of those gear situations. I'm, I'm, like, yes. Like, can't and don't sleep on Ash well, either. That's not Gears, Gears, Gears. Ashen. Ashen looks know. amazing. I, that, I play Ashen. I play Ashen. I play Super Lucky's Tale. Don't don't sleep on that game. Just just don't. Super Ashen Lucky, has, Lucky, Super Lucky Tale is gonna be amazing. Yeah, and I'm Ashen has Ashen has a lot of potential. It really does. When I first saw Ashen, I thought it was a twenty dollar game. Now I see it's gonna be a full blown sixty dollar game. 
it's really gonna be sixty dollars. It, it, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks great. I think it's gonna be. Four. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Vert is out for me. Rather not. This is a sixty dollar game, forty dollar game. But just even what I I played, it was still a nice Amazon, game. Is it Amazon has it up right now for sixty. I think look. it's the same thing with like I think what Lawbreakers is gonna be thirty. Hellblade is gonna be like four. Oh no, Hellblade is gonna be thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of these games are just going digital only and not trying to. Sell you a sixty dollar price tag, and like you'll get. Well, you. keep in mind, Lawbreakers is an indie too. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, sure. I'll take that. I like sure. the thirty and forty dollar. Uh, oh, Ninja Theory. I do too. I, I like indies. I don't. I have no beef with I, I don't. I just. I don't, the only thing I I don't like is I'm a. I'm not a digital person, so. I, Hey, haven't just bought see that's the thing with these prices and these independent developers man you know you're not gonna get ass raped that's what that's why i stick with indie man so i don't have to get ass raped well, if the game does our survival says know, otherwise no, 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 if, the game, if the game does great then they'll they may put a copy in the ass rape with no vaseline just dry ass bro bro see i know there's double xp and all you gotta chill b I know we are double X. You brought the ice cube back but though. You gotta chill, dude. <laughs> the visuals, the visuals. <laughs> That's what the AAA studios do to you, man. Visuals. That's what the console companies do to you. What you talking about? <laughs> Lord have mercy. See, when I got this. Living that PC gamer talk. I'm gonna have to meditate and all that to get that out of my head. Well, it's know. not the PC gamer talk. Like Julissa, we talked about this before. My big beef with <laughs> the console is Sony and Microsoft. It's not the necessarily the console experience, it's Sony and Microsoft. And I, I still don't understand why PlayStation gamers don't complain about having to pay for online on PS4 when it was free on PS3. And they were because they're winning dog and they got the sales, man. Oh, no, I complain. No, no, I'm saying uh, they announced that at launch. I didn't like, like why did y'all say something in the beginning? Oh, believe me, I didn't like paying. I didn't like that either. Mm -mm. Like I, I I don't I don't understand. I, I saw people damage controlling. That's what I saw. I'm like, I, this is what people told me. Well, uh, if you're getting something for free, you get what you pay for. So I'm like, okay, well. I got free online, and my free online is amazing. Or free online gaming, and my free online gaming is amazing. Yeah, that's what they said. It was like, well, uh, what Microsoft was charging you for everything, and everything was under that subscription. They were okay with that too. But to, they changed. They changed everything. Like I was like, yo, I gotta have a gold joint to put to play Netflix. I didn't understand. It. I don't understand it to this day. Yeah, I, I didn't understand. I didn't understand it when I was just on 360. I refuse. What got me to pay for Xbox Live was I really wanted to play Mass Effect 3 online. Before that, the rest of the generation, I refused to play. Why y'all talking about old shit? I'm just saying. No, I I totally agree. Though I don't think that we should be playing. We should have to pay. To play oh. multiplayer online now, yeah, the and all the other goodies behind that that come with that, I think that's something, you know. But as a gamer, I, I don't. I, it's I think it should be revamp. free. It's time to yeah. revamp Live and Plus because it's it's time to revamp it. It's time to if you're not going to get rid of it, it's time to incentivize it more. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. What's going to give them the incentive to do that though? Like we're we're paying for it no matter what right now. So what's going to give them the incentive to even change it? The only thing they're doing is people, if people stop uh, renewing, but that's not going to happen. I know. So or that's people complain enough. Think about what they did with the Connect. Like, I was hoping PlayStation dudes were going to rise up um, when they announced the paid online, like Xbox players did, when they, um, after what that shit that Don Matrix said. Because it happened at the same time. I thought people, I thought both sides were going to be pissed. And that's exactly right. why we need strong competition. We need somebody. The thing is, it's only two two that would that has online gaming that's sony and microsoft so it's almost like they've got a duopoly here yeah I mean, because what, until one platform? says one says okay i'm not gonna make my gamers pay for multiplayer you know well we know sony was doing that last gen though but th this is all this is a whole different ball game we're in now because oh, i mean gone. everybody's doing it now nintendo's getting ready to do yeah. it yeah yeah it's like and, until until i think until gamers treat all platform equal and really look at the benefits to everything yep we're never we're never going to see it we still see it we still live in a time where many gamers see okay playstation uh, superior or xbox superior or pc superior and then i guess there's nintendo guys somewhere in there mm -hmm. i don't hear too many people saying nintendo superior you know something I'm, i want to get back to really fast we talked about earlier about the whole capture the whole recording thing and i didn't notice until actually kev pointed it out to me on a video do you st do you need at one point? I don't know if you still do. You need an Xbox Live Gold to be able to use Upload Studio. 
Yes. Is it still like that? Because that's trash. I don't know. I don't know if it's still like that. I know it was like that a lot. I know it was. I've had, I've had capture cards for two years. So <laughs> I've had my um, Elgato for almost a year now, and then I had um <laughs> before that. So I don't know what's like that. I don't use that shit no more. What's your oh. question, Fam? You still have to pay for um, Xbox Live to use the upload Xbox um, Upload Studio. Oh, no, uh, I mean, who doesn't pay for Xbox Live though? So I don't. But I feel, I feel right. like that's a stupid thing to have that behind a paywall, though. I think. Mean, well, they had Nef- they had Netflix and all that free stuff behind a per- paywall at one point. True. Yeah, they did. I was just yeah, them trying to too. squeeze as much money as they possibly can out. Well, also at the time, like they they didn't, you know, like PSN was what it was, so they Microsoft didn't feel the effect of it, and then clearly they they saw the effect of it, and they needed to get rid of it. So yeah, because they didn't even get free games until PlayStation started doing it. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. PlayStation didn't start doing it until <laughs> after. Well, PlayStation did it when people weren't buying PlayStation Plus. Remember, PlayStation Plus was just the games. Yeah. yeah and people weren't Plus buying that shit. And, and then PlayStation they said, oh, let's bundle PSN with it. Yeah. Yeah, when <laughs> PSN went down and they gave away those free games, and then people were like, oh, I like this. And it was like, you know what? Ding. Something went off in their head. And <laughs> I agree that that online should be free, like the multiplayer and stuff. More people would play online. It's just from a business perspective, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo will never give up that guaranteed revenue stream unless mm-hmm. they could do something differently that would eclipse what they're currently making. Yeah, for it. so it'll never happen. Well, I, 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 don't, I, I think the, if the Xbox side stood up enough and complained enough, like they did when they found out that the PC guys were going to play those games online with them for free. I think if the Xbox guys would have spoke up a, more of them, like as a as a collective group, I think they would have done something. I, but I I think like people just kind of like I'm gonna play my Call of Duty and my 2K, and I'm just gonna get Xbox Live, and and like they're like the yeah. the, the vocal minor like it is a vocal minority on Twitter, mm-hmm. like the people that uh, complain. It, it's an echo chamber, so you 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 think you're hearing, uh, or, or you think you hear stuff that's bigger than it is, but it's really not. You know, no, no, so, no I, I, I agree with you. My, my wife actually has the same attitude. She's like, it's just fifty bucks. I'm like, for me, it's not about it's just fifty bucks. It's about the principle. Right, but you're also a PC gamer. You're used to not paying for you know something free. Well, but I, but I, I said that on the three. But I said that on the three sixty. Well, I got my PC because of the Xbox One reveal. Right. A lot of people just and, are and like, I was saying that on the three sixty as well. A lot of people are just fine paying for Xbox. Yeah, Live. it's second nature. It's kind it's of what nature. it is. I, th- I think it is. Yeah, it's like you know, a, and the same thing with PlayStation now. It's just kind of like yeah, it is what it, it is. is. And I don't even. I, I mean, I, I haven't paid for it in a couple of years. Uh, but mm-hmm. like, well, it's nice. Years. Four years for me now. So I have Xbox I mean, Live for another month, and that was only because my son spent his allowance money on it. And I'm like, I'm just not doing it again. Like, I mean, but Microsoft gives it to you. You can get it for free, guys. Oh, it's something called me? Microsoft Rewards. Okay, you you or Microsoft, you you can just go to and sign up, and and if you're not on it, I I I am I'm, I'm at about twenty thousand Microsoft points now, so I'm eight thousand away from another Xbox Live Gold. Okay, and my renewal isn't up until twenty twenty. What do you got to do to get those points though? You just, just like, search. Like you games. can search. You have to do anything but search Bing. Surf on Bing. All you, buy certain games at a you, certain time. But if you buy and, 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 games, I don't. I literally don't know what the incentive is. If you is. buy games, that's added. Whatever you do, they have like there's like four or five different ways that you can get add points to it to to get to that twenty eight thousand. Okay. And if I'm, I'm, buy, I, 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 I might look into it. I don't know if it benefits me for the way that I play. I primarily play PC and PlayStation these days, but yeah, it is good that there's ways to get it. It's free. I don't pay for it. Four years now. Mm, I need. I need to get on that system. I've been telling y'all that. I don't know what's wrong with you. I first time hearing this. No, I'm gonna start prostituting myself before. out to okay. get Xbox Live. Nice skin it. <laughs> another mother. Four. Okay. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Nick, we can always go back to stripping. We can make extra money for Xbox Live. That is true. That now. That is true. I could do yeah, that. Been man. Doing it for free for years. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think the free games are a good substitute, anyways. Because I don't. Most people don't. They don't care. Like, I, I don't think there's a majority. Like, because people are like, well, you can make multiplayer f- like free, but then offer more games or the different. Like, n- as soon as you make multiplayer not free, they're dropping that subscription. Like, people don't care about, you know whatever re- indie game they're giving out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it's good mm-hmm. on PlayStation this month because Until Dawn, but most months it's not good. So right. it's like, hey, by the way, you can play Call of Duty for right. free. Like, and, and people like, are like, yeah, every, every, 
Yeah. They both have their good and bad months. But over and over on, and even then, the games, they're not really free because, like, my PSN is expired right now. Oh, they yank them games back real quick. <laughs> Randall Thor, let me ask you this. Speaking of Xbox Live Gold, let's say let's say they was to drop multiplayer like we talked about, right? And let's say they added, you know, Groove and one free DVD rental or one free movie rental a month. That wouldn't incentivize people to keep it because it would no. for me. No, you give me Groove is enough alone to make me keep it. No, I don't. I don't mm-hmm. think so. I mean, people talked about multiple tier, like oh, silver, gold, platinum, or silver. It's just going to be the free and the not free. Like mm-hmm. it, the free I, and not free I, makes more sense. Yeah, it's they've that added will... they've added value over time. Like you used to just pay for multiplayer, now you get play for multiplayer and get free games. Um, but they're probably happy with what they get. It's a three billion dollar revenue stream or whatever the heck it is, and I don't see them adding more on top of it. Or to to make because you figure like if they're making three billion a year or whatever on live subscriptions or whatever, and you if you would you know think how many people would unsubscribe if you got rid of the multiplayer aspect? How much revenue do you lose? But then okay, well if we want to actually make more, what do we throw in there to make people subscribe? There's not much you can do. A free movie rental, Game Pass. Game Pass. I mean, but they already do that for ten dollars a month, and most of those games on there. I mean. They're of questionable quality. There are some few, a few good ones on there, but I mean, they got to build it up. It's like PS Now. Like I've honestly always felt like PS Now should have been part of the PS Plus, and I, I think kind of the same way about Game Pass. Right, but I mean, that look would at, add some real value. I look at what I, look at look at Nick's wrong statement he said earlier tonight about how Phil Spencer said single player games are trash. Right, <laughs> <laughs> like, he said that single player games don't have an impact because everybody plays long lasting multiplayer games. And the point here is, people subscribe to Xbox Live and PlayStation Network to play those long lasting multiplayer games: Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege. Halo 5, Call of Duties, right? If And that's why they play these systems and they pay for multiplayer because those are the games that everybody wants to play year in, year out. So if you said, you know what? we don't, You don't need to play for multiplayer. All those millions of people will be like, cool, I'm never subscribing again because I don't care about the free games and you would lose so much money. That's exactly what would happen. And there's no way they could make up that money. Speaking of losing money, GameStop lost a lot of money recently, boy. Thanks. Shout Ooh, out to Mike for putting that, boy. Got him. Got him. Finesse Got games. Him. Someone someone oh, said someone changed. Oh, about, the, about, about that thing you were talking about how to get an Xbox One X for free? That shit? Yeah, it's about they, time they got what they deserve, man. Someone about called time. me Finesse L Thor 19. I'm like, damn straight. Got him. <laughs> I, I ended up getting almost 300 bucks off of them for like eight games. I, I did 500. Get the corporation, I'm all for it. Yeah, I did 500. I have a couple friends who did two grand. So, oh, damn. shit. Yeah. I mean, I have... They cut the price. They cut the value of those games like in that, half. They were always that's the thing. Like my friends know all that stuff, so like they 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 said like it's gonna drop on. It's gonna the the, the values are gonna drop on Wednesday because that's how they always do. It wasn't because they found out about the deals because that's just how GameStop operates. Oh, but man, I got now, so now, many. Now, I, I want to remember the whole deal. It wasn't like you guys were buying like cheap games at Walmart and then selling them back to GameStop. Walmart had the games on sale. Let's say okay, Amazing Spider Man Two was on sale for fifteen bucks at Walmart. With the trade with the plus seventy percent trade in value, you were getting 30, 38 or forty bucks for a fifteen dollar game. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, see, see, I'm I'm thinking about the hustle I should have did because my GameStop and my Walmart are like right across the street from each other. Mm. Well, I know, but, <laughs> but it was the middle of the Steam sale, so I was good. <laughs> Zelda was going back for like sixty bucks. Yeah, people are doing a buy two get one free sale, and they were buying like Switch games because you know they they still have a lot of value. Uh, Mar- Ooh, Mario Kart right. 8, uh, Legend of Zelda, they were doing buy two get one, and then going to another GameStop and trading that in. You know, they'll buy like you know six games. They go to another GameStop and trade those in and get more money for the games what they paid for because of the extra seventy percent boost. It was mm, bro, crazy. I know players, I ain't even mad at that, bro. Bro. <laughs> The amount of tweets I got and the comments in the vid I made of like people doing that, like and thanking me, like it was it was ton. Dude, so many people made out on that, uh, in a way that you don't normally make out over a corporation. You know, like mm-hmm. and usually they're the ones scamming us. We scam yeah. them. You know, the yeah, one thing I kept hearing right. was my Xbox One X is paid for now. That's the one thing I kept hearing was, all right, I can buy Xbox One X now. That mm-hmm. was the one thing I kept hearing. Gamers win. Beautiful. Oh, oh, for it. Yeah, game, gamers win. That's what it's all about. We need them pre-orders. But you know what? Well, pre-orders. 
I was just happy that Cats was just finessing, just to finesse. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and I, I, I even hope Sony dudes got in on some of that money. Yeah, some people did. I know some people who went and bought pros. Hey, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm pro. Con- I'm pro consumer. Fuck these corporations. I keep telling people, man, eat, people talk shit about physical, but sometimes physical come through. Yep. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how you can play on console and not be for physical. Like to me, that's that's one of the best parts about console is having is that physical game collection. I can get physical games on PC. I have quite a few physical games on PC. But the way I do it is multiplayer you, games I buy digital because they have free play value. Single player games are physical. I beat it. When there's nothing that you can do with it, I get rid of it. That that that's that's just it. Whereas like if I buy like I I own Wolfenstein the New World or physical on PC, I use the code inside inside the box. I have the discs. It's great because it'll save on my bandwidth. But after I you know, use the code, it's just a box. But see the thing also I kept telling people is all these Nintendo games, they are, they never appreciate oh, Nintendo value. never lose value. Keep their value, so they're always great for like trading value. If you want to trade it, get, get some bread. And there's some two hundred dollar SNES games out here right now. All righty. Well, we're gonna wrap up. It's been one heck of a show. We uh, hit our time. I do want to thank you guys for rocking out with us. Just a reminder, we will be having another show next Thursday. Like I said, if you are watching this live, we appreciate it. If you're watching on Tick Network, much appreciate it. If you're watching this on iTunes, Podbean, or wherever else, you can find Tick-related podcasts. Much appreciated. We're going to wrap up with these outros, starting off with my light-skinned it brother from another mother. Mr. Me and Fame gonna wear the same T-shirt at QuakeCon 2017. Oh my God! <laughs> Nicodemus X. Yeah, what's good? It's Nicodemus, the King himself, and I'm back on YouTube. You know, what I'm saying I've been away for a while, watching them that sub count go up. So I, I might actually like go another week and see how high my sub count gets. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy how that works on YouTube. Like, you don't make a video for like a week or so, and you get like so many more subs. But if you make a video, then they unsub. It makes no sense to me, but. Um, I'm glad to be back, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for having me once again on this show. As controversial as I am, you guys, you know, ass raping GameStop and stuff, I love it. But um, <laughs> there you go again. There you but, go. Yeah, shout out to the chat. Shout out to our guest, Kev Rand. Always good to have you guys on. Love you guys. Um, and don't forget to tune into Trophy Life next Tuesday. We will be back. We were off yesterday because of Fourth of July. You know, what I'm saying because we got lives, but. We'll be back next Tuesday, and uh, that's it. Everybody, have a, have a good night. <laughs> oh, because you got next lives. Time. We got lives, man. No. Mama Cedar. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been nice, y'all, and I appreciate um, Nicodemus. I, I, I listened to last week's podcast, and um, I appreciate the fact that you, you know, give me a little shout-out, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out why, why I didn't see you but one time doing E3. I'm feeling some kind of way. No, we need know. to fix that. Yeah, I know. We, yeah. I, know. Yeah, you, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have a conversation about that. It was crazy that. out there. Blame Kiss Moo. Yeah. Kiss yeah. Moo. yeah. Like, you, you up, know a sister. Kiss Moo kept me out like too late every night. Sister like that. But that's all right. It's all good. Nah, yeah. nah. Give, I give, wanted, give, give me one good backhand for me. Give me one good backhand. With I was the rings off. I was going to hook up with you, you and Miss Tech, man. Y'all just. <laughs> Y'all just all over the place, though. I couldn't well, get it. We we, it, was, it was so much going on, so yeah. But um, <laughs> thank you, uh, Rand and Kev, the game. The conversation has really been good tonight. I really like conversations that are in-depth, have substance, and have, gives you a lot of food for thought. So thank you guys for coming on tonight and joining us and sharing your, your all that information with us. And it's Mama Sita, and I am out, y'all. And before I switch to the next outro, we're gonna give a shout out to Pat uh, Mac of Zero. And he's been he got Path of Exile on his back, fam. Path like, of Exile he got game, of the year. game on of the year. his back with the promo. If you game guys know, it's a free to play game coming. <laughs> and it's supposed to be Diablo Killer. Shout out to the Mac of Zero One Zero with Path of Exile on his back. Come on, Xbox One. I know Rand is getting to make sure you guys check it out. Mm-hmm. But next up on the outros, we're happy to pry. Crunk girl from Persona 5. Crunk girl. What's that? Yeah, man. I'm getting my ass kicked right now. But it is. She sounds so depressed. <laughs> I am. I mean, I'm losing. Oh, like, I'm at the, I know I'm at the end. I know I'm at the end. I can't beat this damn part. Pull up that YouTube video, fam. <laughs> man, I, I, I can beat it. I know I can. But I, anyways. 
uh, yeah, man, this was a great conversation. Uh, I actually like having some PC gamers in here who know more than I know because <laughs> I don't be knowing about none of that tech stuff. But it's cool to hear about it and for people who actually know what they're talking about. Um, so shouts out to Kev the Gamer, my my Twitter my Twitter guy from another mother. Um, shouts <laughs> out to Ram man. Uh, this is I, I think this is my first time talking to you, first or second time. Um, so thanks for coming through. Um, it's always good to have other people's uh, opinions on here, see what everybody else thinking, so we know we ain't crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, sometimes, man, with these other with these other light skinned brothers and sisters in here, sometimes it's kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I had a good time, man. Um, shouts out to uh, She Attack, and um, shouts out to my peoples at uh, What's Up PlayStation. I'm out. Oh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at Crunk Girl. I've been getting like mad followers lately, some odd particular reasons. So shouts out to everybody following me on Twitter. All right. And I guess today we got the man with a million. Red Uh thanks for having me on again, Fame. It was uh it's a great show. I, I really uh, appreciate everybody's uh you know comments and feedback. It's great getting to meet Crunk Girl and Kev, who I've never interacted before with and it's always nice to get to talk to Mama Sita and the King of Indies himself. You already know what's up, Nicodemus. Subscriber Rand. Mm. <laughs> um, I didn't hear what you said because uh, it was a little bit low in my I headset. Said, I said I'm, I'm a subscriber, Rand. I didn't comment, but I, I always view your uh, content. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's kind of like when people say that I, I don't know what to say because I'm just like a regular guy. I don't know. Like I just, I don't, it's <laughs> weird to me. I've been on YouTube for about. Five years. So when I get seen or people know me, I'll be like, "Hey, <laughs> I don't know if you know what to say either." Believe me. I know it's 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 weird. But thanks for having me on, Fame. Maybe we can do this again sometime uh, yes, down the road. You know, when there's more stuff, or when Nicodemus needs to be set straight on some. Oh, <laughs> 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 that basement, dog. I remember. Oh man. Talking about you drinking <laughs> flooded. Oh yeah. My basement flooded, which is why I was not be able to go. I, you know, I didn't go out to E3 this year, but hopefully next year we'll be able to go to that. That'd be that'd be great. Definitely. If you're out in E3 next year, I'll definitely be there. I hate I missed it this year, but I'll definitely be there. So it'd be great seeing you. And uh, it also uh we one hour 22 22 minutes in somebody can mark it for uh the video game her. If she don't go to PAX 2018 and we're gonna fight when I see it. I'm just letting, mm. just letting y'all know. Uh and I want to give a, a shout out to the man who brought glory 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 to the podcast Kev the gamer hey thanks for having me good interacting with randall too like you said this is the first time i've, I've interacted with him and before we go i want to answer the question that i didn't get a chance to answer Uh-oh. pizza game is for everybody oh Damn that's, it. Right. that's right <laughs> it really i actually is. can't wait to build my pc i'll be i'll be playing PUBG. I can't wait to build a pc oh, yeah. and play that yeah PUBG looks Dude, amazing I, I haven't touched it wagon. I haven't I haven't touched it yet. Um, I don't, I'm not I'm not big on the survival games, but I'm I'm interested. So right. we, we are getting out of here. This has been episode 29 of the Double XP podcast. Episode 30 is next week, next Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Central Time. Make sure you guys can rock with us, and we out of here. Peace. Bye, Bye y'all. Peace. Peace.